Tom, a.k.a. Gerion for Star Frontiers Gamer. And this is day seven of our eight days of Star Frontiers Robotics. And this is the day that you've probably been waiting for. When's he going to get to the Warbot? And today we are doing the Warbot. So our inspiration is um, from Facebook. We found this robot. It was uh, done by an artist. Somebody alerted me to it. This is, hey, this is a Star Frontiers robot. And uh, so I chatted up the um, artist, and he's got a Patreon, and he does these things uh, for, you know, to make money. Uh, but he very graciously uh, allowed me to use it for the video uh, since I hadn't been monetized yet. <clears throat> so I just want to give a shout out to uh, Jess Shields, the artist, and here on Facebook at Art of Jess Shields. Um, so I, I really want to encourage you to look him up. I think I'll put a link in the show notes, make it, just make it even simpler. And, uh, so as you can see down, I'll scroll down, 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 down. Here we go. So what comes up here? So yeah, Rust Bucket, Mech Warrior with massive gun. And yeah, he's selling, oh, geez, I should have paid him the license for uh, 4 dollars um, there wasn't that much money, but, uh, yeah, I mean, we're, 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 we're shoestring budget here at Star Frontiers Gamer till we monetize it. And that's a little ways away. Um, but, uh, yeah, so this is, this guy's a great artist. I like his work. This is fantastic stuff. And, uh, like I said, he very graciously, uh, gave me permission to use that particular image in my video for doing a war bot. So I just want to give a great shout out to Jess Shields, please. If you're a subscriber of this channel, click on it, you know, you know, say something to the guy, you know, maybe you, you might be in, in the market to buy artwork. Uh, his prices seem reasonable and, um, you know, he's got some great stuff here. I mean, I'm, I'm loving this zombie troll up here on his, his banner. Isn't this awesome? That's pretty cool. So let's get right on to the, Robot. So here we are with the worksheet for the Star Frontiers War, uh, Warbot. Um, I have a uh, picture here. This was the picture that he first uh, threw up on the um, on Facebook to say, "Hey, check this out." Um, so this was the one I, I copied and grabbed. Uh, we're coming down here. We need to name this bad boy. I'm gonna call him Ajax. Ajax 7. We'll make his manufacturer Wartech. Megacorp Wartech. He will be a level 5. Uh, that is a 4,000 credit processor. His body type. Now I'm doing a something special here. A reinforced standard Body. And you're probably saying, where the hell is that in the rules? Um, <clears throat> well, it's not in the rules. That is a custom um, uh, thing I created for a robot document that we're working on the publish through uh, Frontier Games and Publishing on drive through It's not out yet, but it is a it is an upgraded standard robot body that has 200 stamina <clears throat> instead of the standard 100 and the body will cost 5,000 to get that 200 his uh, walking movement and warbots move at 120 meters per turn they got some speed so power source Type, it's a standard robot body, so type one, battery. I left out one, type one para battery for 600. Although, you know, this being a war bot, maybe his para battery should be upgraded to type two. So that he's, well, we'll just leave it as type one for now. That means 500 SEU. 
And uh, so his to hit chance is 30 plus 10% per level. And at level five, that's 50 plus 30 is 80, which means his uh, initiative modifier will be eight. Three plus his level is eight. And we reverse engineer the reaction speed for this robot at 80. Programs. Well, right off the bat, we know attack, defense, because he, oops, attack. Um, search and destroy. Search and destroy. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Computer link, which will let him oh, link up to a computer, control a squad of lesser, um, you know, combat robots. Computer link, we will give him that tactics program we created for the combat robot. And uh, security lock. So remember the tactics program was 500 credits. Let's just jump into the rules and review. It's 120. 120 meters per turn, movement for Cybots. And the level five, that was 4,000 credits. We plug that in. The uh, attack defense was 1,000. Search and destroy was 3,000. That's 4,000. Computer link is 4,000, so that's 8,000. The security locks uh, 8,500, and the tactics program makes it an even nine grand for his computer programs. Installed equipment. Well, we just we like infrared optics for our combat robots. Ablative armor. Ablative armor and ablative armor. You're also saying, where is that in the rules? Well, ablative armor is nothing more than the skine suit for ro robots. Um, it's uh, same price as the skine suit, acts as the skine suit. You just, uh, it's a, but it's ablative armor. So it's, it's armor that wears away as he gets hit. So, with a blade of armor, he's got an extra 50 points. We're going to go up here to his stamina and put plus 50. And the a blade of armor intercepts half of the inertial damage, that's, or inertial shooting, that type, the, the appropriate type of damage uh, for that defense, for that sky suit defense coming in. And then the rest goes against his regular stamina. So it functions exactly as a skine suit, but it is an upgrade for robots. The anti-shock plant and a machine gun. That big gun needs to be a machine gun. And then he's going to want 4X MG belts. Right, and uh, he needs to be able to communicate, so radio, phone, longer range than a Chronicom. And all of that taken together, as I pre-added it, is 3,000, I mean, excuse me, 5,300. Gives us a total cost of 23,900 credits. And our inspiration... is uh, Art of Just Shields on Facebook. It's where we got our inspiration. Now, scrolling down, reinforced standard body. 200 stamina, type 1 para battery, 500 credits. I was thinking about upgrading him to a type 2, but I'm going to let it ride. He needs to have some weaknesses. Uh, a blade of armor, access sky suit, costs 300 credits. 
Note this robot has an albedo screen, a power backpack, six frags, laser pistol with two clips, gyro jet pistol with two clips, and these are equipped equipment and for a total of 3,520 extra credits. This is not installed equipment. This is equipped. Occasionally, a combat robot will be placed under its control to carry extra ammo for the machine gun. 32 more machine gun belts can easily be carried by a standard combat robot that isn't heavily loaded with, with equipped weapons. So the combat robot that we designed, based off of that uh, Disney's Black Hole combat robot, uh, would be an excellent robot for this. It's just level two. It's just, uh, you know, he's there to haul the heavy. He's carrying a big, heavy box full of 32 machine gun belts, which would uh, allow this uh, war bot to reload every time he shoots himself dry on those four um, machine gun belts. Now, his mission... Missions are always simpler with the higher level robots. His mission is to ex execute military operations at the direction of a controller. Only word here capitalized is controller. So there's our function. Controller is defined by officer by officers authorized to give orders. You would put in a um, files on rank and uniform, and it would be anybody with the proper rank and uniform. Uh, you could put in uh, the uh, personnel files of the particular officers who are allowed to give orders. Um, and then our second function is seek, repair, or recharge when durability or power reaches 5% or less of total. That would be 10 stamina or 25 SCU. So there is our Warbot, straightforward killing machine. Uh, <laughs> with a big, big honking gun. If he runs out of ammo and doesn't have time to rearm and needs to shoot, he will grab one of his equipped pistols, either the laser pistol or the gyro jet pistol. He will be accompanied by a combat robot, and if that combat robot puts down the big trunk, it can use its equipped weapons. So uh, this, is a, this is a bad boy. I mean, he's... He's hitting for 80% on the D100 every turn. And uh, he's got a big gun, does a lot of damage. So this is this is definitely a boss encounter type, type, type of robot. When you need a boss encounter, this is a thinking, creative robot. He can think creatively. He's got that search and destroy. He's got the tactics program. Um, so in his high level lets him think creatively. So he's very, very dangerous. And I only recommend uh, this particular type of boss encounter against the player characters if they have advanced in equipment and skills to the place where they can handle them. Or they better at least have some kind of a plan like everybody... <laughs> Everybody with laser rifles set to max <laughs> type of thing. Try to uh, wear down his defenses and, and uh, take him out. So that is Ajax 7, the Star Frontiers Warbot. This is Tom, a.k.a. Gedeon for Star Frontiers Gamer, saying thank you for watching. Thanks to my subscribers. You guys are great. And I will see you in the frontier.